This video is going to show you how you're going to create your writing portfolio in your Google Drive. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my Google Drive and then on the left hand side I'm going to click New and then I'm going to click Folder. I'm going to title this folder with my last name first so and then I'm going to put a comma then my first name then I'm going to put a colon and type in writing portfolio and then a parenthesis for the year 2020-2021 close parenthesis and then click create it will pop up into your drive and that is the main folder that you're going to be using for your writing portfolio the next one that you're going to do is you're going to create your folder inside your writing portfolio folder. And then that's going to look like you're going to double click in and then you're going to go up to the arrow up the top here. Click that and then click new folder. And that one you're going to label the marking period. So I'm going to do a capital MP and I'm going to put one and then I'm going to create. So now if I go back to my drive, you'll notice I have my writing portfolio folder. And when I double click into that, you'll see I have an MP1 folder. Here is where I'm going to take all my writing pieces and anything that I need. and I'm going to drop them into um, this folder for my writing portfolio. Now that you've created your writing portfolio folder and the mark and period folder, you now need to share your writing portfolio folder with your teacher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my folder at the top here, okay? And once I'm in my writing portfolio folder, I'm going to click the arrow right next to the name. And then when a little window pops up, I'm going to click share. Another window will appear and this is where I can add my teacher to my folder. I'm going to keep my teacher as the editor of the folder. That way they can add writing pieces if they want to. I'm going to keep everything the same and then I'm going to click the send button. Once it's sent, it will say the person's added and you'll notice that you have a people icon here that lets you know that you have shared this folder. And if I was to click back on it, it shows me who I shared my folder with. So. That is how you create a writing portfolio folder, then create subfolders for your marking period in your writing portfolio folder, and add your teacher to the writing portfolio folder.